so focused on this little time and this little place and our little body right now. We don't really have a true conception of just how incredible we are as soul and how expansive we are because we are mind-blowing. We, we have been here many times. We've had many experiences. We're far more evolved than we think we are. I use an analogy of a train ride. We're all, all of humanity, six and a half billion of us are on this train and we're all heading to this unknown destination. And we're on this 75 year journey. And think how insane this is. We're on this, all collectively on this journey for 75 years and we don't have a clue where we're going. I mean, would that be acceptable in any aspect of your life now? Would you leave the house and not have a destination? I mean, it's crazy. Would you go, I mean, we wouldn't accept that on a day-to-day -day basis, but yet we're accepting that for our entire life journey. It's, and people are waking up to the fact that this is, this is insanity. We're living our entire life here. We're collecting objects, but we don't know truly where we're going. We don't know what death is. We don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people are just are fearful about the whole thing because there's such a lack of knowledge about it. And they try, most people just block it out. They, they, you know, they just seem to forget it, but they don't want to think about it. It's unfortunate that, that many people don't connect to this. But there is a shift occurring. I feel and that there's a definite shift occurring where people are waking up to the fact that, oh my God, I have to find out. I have to discover the answers. I can't go another 20 years not knowing where I'm going. I can't live like this. I felt that I, my journey began back in the 70s when I realized I couldn't continue to live without knowing. I have to know the answers, like what am I? What's my purpose? Where am I going? You know, what, those are the biggies. I mean, everything else is really secondary.